accordions are super versatile. But what if you want to add spacing in between the tabs? Let me show you the problem. You have an accordion and we have tabs. You know how this works. You click, they open, they show and reveal what they have within them. But what if you want to add some spacing? Now you're all going to say, of course you can. You go to the style tab and there it is. You could use the border width, for instance, but all that's going to do is add some border width. Now, what if I want to have it look like totally transparent? You might say, well, you've got a white background, just give it a white color. Okay, that's great. But now what if I want to add a border? So around the tabs and the content, I want there to be a border, but I want them to be separated. Well, believe it or not, when you start to mess around here, you know, you, you can't do on any of these items here. If you go down to advanced and you go down to border and you add in a border here, it's going to actually add it all the way around the accordion. So it's now like not actually giving you what you really wanted to. So let's undo all of that and get back to square one. The solution is super simple. We're going to drop in a bit of CSS code and you can see what it does really simply and modify it to your heart's content. First thing I'm going to do is go over to my accordion and I'm going to give it a class name of Q Qwe2. Q-W-E-2. I just gave it a name just so that you know, okay, that it's a fake name. You do what you want with it. Qwe2. We then go down to custom CSS, okay? Custom CSS. I'm going to drop some code in and we now have spacing between our accordion tabs and we've got a border going around them. You could, if you want, do a border radius, write that in and do 25 px or 25 pixels or 10 pixels, whatever. That can all be done as well. But now we have what I said. Look, I'm going to go over to the border color and I'm going to say D-O-D-O, -O, sorry, not Dodo, D-0-D-0-C-E. I'm giving it a gray color. And you'll see there the code is Qui2, Element Elementor. We've got this little bit of funny code here and I'm going to come back to that because that's important. And then we have border width 2. So I could go border width 20. We still have spacing between them. We'll leave it as 2. What about the spacing between the tabs? So let me change this to be 50. And that is how you get the spacing between the titles or the tabs of the accordion. Let's put that back to 20 like that. And as you expand it, you're going to have a lovely little border that goes all the way around like that. So it is really, really simple to do. And it's with using this code. But I must now stress there is a little bit of a warning here. Let me now, um, let me just go to the content and get rid of some of these tabs. So we've got it pretty simple. I'm now going to duplicate. Can you see there? It is now not following through the spacing logic. And you might say, why not? Because it's been duplicated. It still has the same class name. Look, Qui2. It still has the code inside as well. So why is it not replicating? It's because of this bit here. That bit there, 2356-3F, is unique to the first accordion. And the second one will have a different accordion number. Now, where do you get that number from? Really simple. All you do is preview your page like this. Now, if I right click onto this accordion and go to inspect, can you see over there? We've got the code 23563F. OK, I'm now going to go down to the next one, right click and inspect. And there we go. There's the data ID. So now this is a different code. I'm going to copy that code. OK. Go back to my page and for the second accordion, I'm now going to overwrite that and stick it in. And look, as soon as I did that, just to make sure you can see that properly, that is now applied the border spacing with regards to the margin top and all of that. So it is dead, dead simple to do. Now, some of you might be saying, well, why don't I just go to the CSS class ID? It doesn't work or do anything for me. So I would say, yes, it might be fiddly. Yes, you've got to right click and inspect to get that precise code. But once you do that, this code is dead simple and easy to use. So I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. Take that code, which will be in the description and stick it in your accordion. See you soon.